perfect day for spraying. I've just been spraying this field a week now. A lot of my mates are in the Isle of Man, including my sister, because uh, obviously the TT's on out there. And I love to know some cheap flights tomorrow, dinner time. Coming back Monday morning. I thought, oh, that's all right. The hotel wasn't that dear either. Booked it, and then my mate Mike's like, yeah, they don't race on a Sunday. It's like, oh. Because I've been before, but normally during a weekday. Obviously, I can't this week, so much on with the combine run. So, he said, there's some racing on in the South of the Island. Anyway, when I look, I can change my flight to later on on the Monday. So, I can actually see that and the racing down Bray Hill on Monday. So, um, long day probably today on the sprayer to get finished and up to date with all the fungicide on the wheat so that I can get out there. Spraying this field here now is quite light soil, but when we get to the other end of the field, it gets even lighter and you'll see the rows get thinner and thinner. Yeah, you can just see sort of how thin it is here and how it's like basically wilting off with the um, because it's just there's no body in the soil. Often can't get down that road over there to the field, so just cutting through Bill's potato headland. Those spuds are coming up well now. You see how dry it looks, can't you? Know? That field of spuds is a bit more advanced, that was planted a bit sooner. Just noticed that the end nozzle had twisted round in its holder, which meant it wasn't coming out. And with it being the very end one on the angle it's at, it's often hard to see, so I don't know how much I've missed. But I suspect on the other field it might be a bit, might have missed a little bit. Oh. All right, Sam. Never knew you were into little mix. It is, yeah. It is the big one. We're a bit wet. I've made a couple of Let's go and have a look. They've been doing this. This on the wall. I assume they could. It's quite long. This one. We, the, most of these have been sort of like 12, 13 foot paws. This one's a 16 foot paw, so couldn't get it all in one mix. The mixer only holds just short of a cube. I think it's 0.8, but you can get a bit more in if you ramp it up. Also, oh, they've just got a little bit to go in the top now. Looking good. These bolts have arrived, hopefully. They're gonna fit into there. Hopefully they're gonna fit in here, it's like so. Get that washer out of the way. Fiddly this. Yeah, there we go. They're gonna bolt onto there like that and that'll be what we'll use to fasten the flashing lights and the signs on the top of the car. The car. Andrew's been out mowing some grass for a neighbour, but the mower stopped working, so we don't know whether the belts have snapped or give up. So let's take the guard off and see what's going on. I've come back to fill this rare up because it keeps raining really. So they've just come out. I'm guessing that's the problem. I feel these doings not very flat, and it's been diving in the floor, and the blades are now knackered as well. Well, what's knackered as well? Got a stack of belts off different things. This is one of them now. That's the one that's come off the mower. And it's very, very similar in size. So we're gonna see if this will fit on. If not, the engineering place up the road will open up for us to get some out. We'll see if these will do first. Looks like we're in luck. This is the one of the spur belts out of the loads that we've got. Obviously has four on it and it's we've just got to adjust the slack on that there and then we can get it on. Wonder whether it perhaps wasn't tight enough because they'd give a little bit of us using it and Tom using it. And probably we should have checked that spring adjustment before we set off maybe. One. Right, we've got four belts on now, let's see if we can tension them because I think they are worn. But they might get us out of a hole. Might be worse than the other. Is it going that? Yeah. Just tighten it on the spring and hopefully they'll go tight. Seem to be alright. I think them two are better than them two. But 
we're just gonna go to 115 mil on that spring and that should can't do it one <coughs> Tiny bit more, yeah. Ian's washed the mixer off, so half it's gone in the bucket, and the other half's gone on Ian. <laughs> it's handy mum living over the road, it means I can park the sprayer here. She can make me sandwiches while I fill up. Charles feeding James, and I've got um, a mango magnum and some pineapple and strawberries in a tub as well. Remember that feel that Rudy didn't want to sew, put his name to. Look at it now. Ian's been cleaning the Merlot and I'm sure this is the one that's going next week because they're swapping it for a new one. Just fall them back and say, sorry, Ian likes this one too much. It's got the better, the older joystick. If any of you have used the older Merlot on the new one, tell me if I'm crazy or this older one's better. Just sell them and keep them in. And I'll have it. <laughs> we'll just swap the number plates. So we get a new warranty. Yeah, no, the, the, this joystick, we prefer it to the joystick on the other one, but apparently there's another new joystick now. Proper glowing on the camera, isn't it? Oh, aye. Another field I'm quite pleased with here. It uh, looks great. It's really clean as well. You can actually see the difference in colour where the fungicide's going on. If you look here now, this is the bit that we've done because I'm putting on that much water. Bit of grass moving over there, like. Yeah, it looks good. I just wish it was all this clean. Just have to stop to change a chem saver. So that is what a chem saver is. But it shouldn't look like that. I'll show you what it should look like. So that's what it looks like now. That's what it should look like. It's a little flat disc of rubber. So it goes in there, so that's a nozzle body. So that bolts on, it's for these screws. So my finger would be the, the stainless steel pipe that the chemical gets pumped through. Then there's pressure then, and it goes down through here, and you've got three outlets for different nozzles. You twist it to which one you want. So uh, there's no nozzles on at the moment, but you have three different nozzles on. Twist it round, like so, for each one you want. And the chem saver goes in here, so an earth pipe goes onto that and it opens and closes it. So this is the chem saver bit, it's like a diaphragm. So that's that's an original one. And then obviously we put these little black ones in, which are supposed to be better. That goes in there. And then this screws back on. And then, but what it's doing is the chemicals getting pushed out and the air keeps it shut pushes the diaphragm against there, and then when you release the air pressure, the fluid then can flow out of the hole and down the outside, then out through the nozzle. But yeah, that's an original one, but they're just completely corroded, which is and bubbling up like that other one's done. So it's a, the, the 64 pence and the 72 of them. So it's just a bit annoying, changing them all the time. A few people have been saying, do we not put tram lines in? Well, the GPS on the sprayer puts the tram lines in, but we sow them. So as you can see, the wheat's still growing here where I'm driving. I will flatten it down, but it should probably spring back up. It'll just be a little bit stunted, a little bit behind. But because there's no tram line, there's nowhere for a pigeon to land. And when the pigeons land, they land and then they start eating everything. And it gives them like a runway, because there is no runway now. Also, we don't expect to harvest that bit, but if we do, it's a bonus. But it, it, the roots in the soil hold it together so it stops the sprayer cutting in. And then also it protects it from, from erosion as well because you've got the plants on the top. So yeah, we, we don't tram line with the drill. We just let the GPS on the sprayer drive where it needs to be. I thought later on, on a Saturday, would be quieter for the tracks. Anyway, the train's gone that way. I'll wait for another one to go that way. And there's another one going that way as well. So sat here waiting because obviously the trains are more important than me just shutting the gate see the little caterpillars here in the cocoons they obviously turn into butterflies random place to be on a gate i bet it's because the sun beats down on it all day and it actually gets quite warm but i'm no sort of caterpillar expert someone might know 
don't know what's going on there, but there's quite a lot of smoke coming from by that footbridge. Might be kids messing around and they have reported it to the signal after guy on the level crossing. So he's going to caution the next train. But nothing. I don't think it's the sleepers on the track or something like that. They're made of concrete nowadays. Today's birthday bumper is Elizabeth Cheesebury, it's 45. Carly Moray's on it, Ian Brooks, Bob Astle is 61. James Smethurst, I think it's pronounced, is 45. Russell Trainer is 11. John McDonald is 40. And Charlotte Ashley is still on there because she's actually only 35. I was winding everyone up yesterday and everyone's been messaging saying you don't look a day over 35. Anyway, uh, £35,422 raise. Now, it was pretty much unanimous yesterday were to put the Mini in. So, there he is in all his glory, looking out the top of the auger. Anyway, that is about it for today. I've got to go out now and wash the sprayer out. So, I've uploaded this while I've been filling with water for you to wash. I'll go and fill the sprayer out tomorrow morning. Get up handy. Hopefully, the dew will be gone. Shake some hay out. Then... Catch an easy jet over to the Isle of Man, ready to watch the TT. So I'll uh, be in, I forgot where it is, is it Douglas? Douglas tomorrow night. And then uh, we'll have a look at that a bit on Monday and then I'll be back again. So thanks for watching today. If you made this far, click like, that'd be amazing. And I'll see you all tomorrow. And also welcome to all the new people that have started subscribers, quite a lot of new subscribers recently. So thanks for that and I'll see you tomorrow.